So Chantilly's is doing Vita, and the other day she did her top 10 favorite Disney movies, which I thought was a great idea, so I'm gonna go ahead and do mine. Just kind of a disclaimer, I excluded a few movies that I didn't think... They were put out by Disney, but I don't really consider them Disney movies, i.e. The Muppet movies and Nightmare Before Christmas, and Disney didn't even put that out, so anyway. Number 10 is Cinderella. I'm just gonna say up front, I love the artistry of the original cartoon Disney movies. It just seemed like it was a lot more of an art form back then. Cinderella is just a beautiful movie. And the character of Cinderella, too, I really like. She's um, really down to earth and just really relatable and um, I just really like her. Number nine, Sleeping Beauty. Again, just a really beautiful movie to watch. Um, I love all the colors. I think that really kind of captured what Disney was all about for, for fantasy back then. And I think also uh, Prince Philip is one of my favorite princes. He's just such a cool guy. He's so proactive. He, he doesn't wait around for stuff to happen to him. He, he goes out and he finds adventure. He's a cool guy. I really like him. Number eight is Lady and the Tramp. It's just a really cute movie. I really like the love story. I really like the character of Lady. She's just so sweet and innocent. I just really like the contrast between her and all the, um, all the strays. But yeah, that's just a really, really good movie. Number seven is Treasure Planet. Okay, first of all, I love ships, anything to do with the sea, and I love space. So anything combining those two, I just, I, I consider this movie genius. I mean, the fact that nobody thought of it before is just amazing. I just love the idea. You know, it's so cool. The idea that you could have a sailing ship and have it sail from planet to planet is just, it's just awesome. I, I love it. It's Ugh, man. It's such a great movie. I love that movie. Number six is Jungle Book. It's always been one of my favorites. The backdrops and just the artistry in this movie, along with the score. I feel so immersed when I watch that movie. It, uh, it really takes me to Adventureland in Disneyland. It reminds me of Mary Blair in kind of a weird way. But yeah, Jungle Book. Number five, 101 Dalmatians. This one, along with Lady and the Tramp too, I think I'm just a big dog person, so I'm automatically gonna like these movies. There's a certain kind of creepy that I get really into as far as like bad guys and stuff, and 101 Dalmatians kind of has that just enough edge that really, really sucks me in. I, I really like that kind of, um, that kind of dark to a movie. Also, I read the book and um, it's just a really cool concept. I, I really like the whole idea of dogs having their own system for things, the Twilight Bark. It's just really cool. Number four is Aladdin. It took me a while to come to this conclusion. Aladdin, as a love story, is pretty dumb. As a visual stimulation, it's not good, but it's really funny. I love this movie because, well, the musical scores are needless to say, fantastic. But it's such a funny movie, man. I have to say that Genie is up there on my favorite Disney characters ever. I can't get over Genie. He's just so awesome. Just gonna go with it. Number three is The Aristocats. And I have always loved this movie. Again, it's just really, really beautiful. I really like the relationships in, in this movie. It's a really sweet story. I just really, really enjoy watching that movie. Number two is Beauty and the Beast, and I don't think I need to defend that. I mean, I know it sounds like total bandwagoner, but you can't say that it's not a fantastic movie. I mean, even if it's not your favorite, I mean, come on. It's Beauty and the Beast. You just... I'm... I'm sorry. You can't not have it up there. It's... It's what it is. And number one, which is even a bit controversial, my number one favorite Disney movie is Toy Story. And I was even debating whether or not to include Pixar movies, because they are really a whole different area. But Toy Story, besides being in itself just a fantastic movie, it's really set apart from the rest of Pixar's movies, I think. Ever since Toy Story, Pixar has known that their style and whatever they put out is going to be well received, so with that in mind, they have to cater, really, particularly to a younger audience. Whereas with Toy Story, they didn't know how it was going to go over, so they really had the liberty to do whatever they wanted with it, because it was kind of a crapshoot at the time. But yeah, besides being a breakthrough, the first of its kind, the humor is so dry, and the conflict is so dire. 
I mean, there has not been a Pixar bad guy as evil as Sid. I mean, think about it. No one has been as sadistic as Sid. Because they can't do that anymore. When you're making kids' movies, you can't do that if you want people to like you. I mean, Syndrome wasn't that sadistic. Mr. Waternoose wasn't that sadistic. Al and Stinky Pete were just pushing their own agendas. Same with Otto. And the chef guy in Ratatouille, I don't remember his name. Yeah, half the Pixar movies don't even have proper bad guys in them. I mean, Finding Nemo, the dentist's niece... I don't remember her name, but she wasn't a bad guy. She was a kid. She didn't know better. And Chick Hicks, a bad guy? Really? Okay, I'll admit Hopper was close. But like I said, he was early on. So, yeah, I really think that back when they didn't have that expectation, I mean, Bugs Life was pretty awesome, too. Pixar is fantastic. Pixar makes some of the best movies, really, as far as everything everything but toy story it's its own thing and i don't think that they're ever going to be able to top it not in my opinion anyway so there you have it that's my top 10 disney movies let me know if you agree disagree what are your 10 favorite let me know